Section 2. Managing your themes and templates. While Oracle Application Express provides a number of themes and templates out of the box, we always need to modify and tweak those to suit our business needs. This section will show you how to modify these templates and utilise your own style sheet entries. And we'll do that by creating our own theme, adding custom templates, including images in our application, and referring to CSS and controlling the layout. So from our development environment, before we start making any changes and additions to our templates or pages, we should create our own theme or at least make a copy of an existing one. This means that future theme upgrades to Apex won't impact our applications. So first we need to make a copy of our existing theme's metadata. So we can do this by going to Share Components and looking at Themes. Now, Apex's theme is built up of a number of templates which is all stored as metadata within the Apex environment and we can make a copy of this by using the task menu on the side and hit copy theme and I'll type in 150 for a new theme identification number and I can now copy that theme. The next thing we need to do is head to the folder where the physical files that support this theme are located. So in my laptop environment, I've got a 4.2 folder with the images directory under there. And this is where my environment sources all my images. In there, there is a themes folder where we can see all the themes um, that are supported in this environment. We originally used theme 25, if we copy, that folder and call it 150. These are all our images, JavaScript, style sheets that are related to this particular theme. And then we can head back into our Oracle environment and switch the theme that we're currently looking at. So we can use the switch theme button. I'm going to switch from the blue responsive theme to our new theme here. and it attempts to match all the templates within there um, by using this template class. And sometimes there's warnings when it could be more than one of the potential classes that are specified, but it looks like these are all the same here, so I'll accept all those. And next, and we can switch our theme, which means our application is currently using the blue responsive theme instead of the theme 25. The last task that you'll need to do is search through your application for the use of theme 25 and replace all those references to be theme 150 so it looks in the relevant folder instead of the stop folder. So we've made a copy of all the components of our theme both in the development environment and the folder. We can start making modifications in isolation to those stock themes provided by Apex. We can also take it a step further and make your own theme available in the workspace and have it come up in the Create Application Wizard. But next we'll have a closer look at templates themselves.